Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a purchase or pass. This is where I talk about new and upcoming makeup and beauty releases and my thoughts on them. Will I purchase? Will I pass? Am I undecided? Because sometimes I just don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is the only video that I really have a routine of what I'm about to say. However, I'm thinking about switching some things up. I really enjoy Teresa is Dead, her series where she does makeup bingo. And I think I'm going to start incorporating that into these little series just so that we can play around. You guys let me know what you're thinking about that or if you like this format better. You never know though. You might be watching the makeup bingo and like it. I just want to switch things up a little bit. So I'm going to do it this way this time, the normal way. However, I think next time I'm going to switch up and play around a little bit. Anywho, I am going to link Teresa is Dead in my description box in case you guys haven't seen her series. Check that out if you are curious, but also I'm going to leave in my description box links to the Instagram handles that I love to follow so I can stay in the know. Right now, I'm going to be jumping over to trend mood. The first thing I want to talk about is something that I briefly touched on in another video and I got the name completely wrong. <laughs> I think it's because how it was being described to me as kind of like an iffy name. It is the Teddy Bear palette in a collection from Too Faced. So I think I called it the Barely There, something like that. But anywho, Bear is spelled B-A-R-E instead of B-E-A-R. So it's just like a little play on words. Basically, it's a natural palette. These colors are definitely up my alley. To be honest, do I need another one like this? No, so I'm having like this fight in my head where I want it but then I don't as well. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the fence. This one is making me think, I wanna try it because I wanna see, with Too Faced, a lot of times their palettes that are in the tin seem to be a little bit better. And I don't think I have, I can't remember the last Too Faced palette I purchased. I think I will pick this up and do more of a comparison type of video. So I'll do my looks like I usually do, but I will compare it to other things that I have in my collection so you guys will know if this is, again, colors that we all have, which I suspect. But sometimes when you get things in, in person, they are actually different than what they appear to be online. So I'll, I'll likely get this for review purposes, but I'm not going to lie to you. These are my colors. These are colors that I will definitely use. So it's not a palette that I think is just going to sit around. I'm not going to get the lip injections. Um, actually, I, I like the teddy bear on the actual palette as well as the powder, but I don't really like it on the tops of the lip injection. I don't know why. It's a little too kiddish for me. And it sounds so weird because I'm very into like the, the cutesy things, but I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older or if that one, there's just something a little too cutesy about that. And I would actually purchase the lip injection. I know that they do work, not for a long period of time, but yeah. I'm going to skip the lip products. I'm not sure. I'll probably pick up the face powder and then I'll likely get the palette so I can compare and show you guys some looks using the palette. The palette will be available April 5th. There's no pricing here. And then it says the other products will be, I don't like it when they do this. So I'm probably just going to get the palette then. I'm not going to get the face powder. Those are gonna be available April 19th. Unless they actually release everything all together, I'm only gonna get the palette. Okay, mind made up. <laughs> this packaging is so, so pretty. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. I love it. It kind of brings me back to when, you know, you made these little boards and you had all the pictures, you cut out things from magazines and whatnot. I love this packaging and it's from Dominique Cosmetics. And I've had really good luck with her line. This palette looks so beautiful, but I'm, I'm gonna skip it. I'm going to skip it, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. It, mm, I kinda wanna just for the packaging. Ah! <laughs> this is the Now or Never collection. It's inspired by strong women who take risks, follow their dreams, and make history. I think that's amazing. I like the inspiration behind it. 
and it is available now. The eye palette is $25, and then the lip glosses are $17 each, and you can get the full collection for $54, which has the palette, two glosses, and a bag. Now, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. We have liquid lipsticks and liners. I actually considered picking these up, but then I kind of backed out. <laughs> I don't know, I was filming actually when they came out, and then I heard of people were having issues even getting it, they were in queue, and then didn't get the products afterwards. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't mess with it because it would have messed up my whole video. But I thought about getting them whenever they came to Ulta. You guys let me know. This is something I would pick up if you guys wanted me to test out a lip liner and a lipstick. I would likely pick up one or two lip liners and then one or two liquid lipsticks. This is definitely something to be more for you guys than for me, except for the liners. Like, I love liners, <laughs> I, especially if they are long wear. This is the Palette Spoken Lip Collection. The liquid lips are $20 each, and then the liners are $18. It says that they are super creamy, easy glide formula, high pigment, soft matte finish. I don't see anything about long wear. And that's what I would want is something that's long wear. I love long wear lip liners. They're going to be available in May at Ulta. You guys just let me know. If you're not interested, then I'm probably going to pass just because... I don't want the liquid lipsticks. And then if the lip liners aren't long wear, I could live without them. Available now from ColourPop. I feel like I have definitely seen this a million times before. And like I have mentioned, I'm kind of falling. Like There's so many ColourPop collections that I really like, but they release too much. And I actually like this palette, but I just feel like I have all of these. And I know I just said that with a Too Faced, but this isn't a palette that I'm looking at and I'm thinking that I will use. This is the Limoncello collection, which I think is really cute. But I, I just... I'm overwhelmed by ColourPop. I am. I just I don't even really want to talk about it. I just feel like it's the same things over and over and over again. So I'm just skipping it. I'm skipping it. This palette is giving me the feels. I love Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Their pigmentation is amazing. And this is pastel. And I think, so some brands just, they just don't do pastels well, but I think that Give Me Glow would do it well because they have so much pigment. Let me see, are there swatches? I don't see anything other than a little hand swatch of these shimmers. Oh, I might have to do this. This is Pastel Dreams. It's going to be available in April on their website. It just looks so pretty. It is definitely not an everyday palette, but it's something that's a little bit different. It kind of gives me pastel goth vibes from Kat Von D. So, ooh, and I, go sh I love the shimmers from Kat Von D. <laughs> I love the shimmers from Give Me Glow as well. So I just think that this palette looks promising. I want to test it out. I want to test it out. This I was actually going to pick up and I tried to, but um, I can't because it doesn't deliver to the U.S. I don't know if I can find it anywhere else right now. It says it's available now, but it was available at Douglas. And this is from Dior. It is the Forever Natural Bronze, which is a bronzer. And I just, I really wanted to try it because they have really good powders. And the last bronzer I got from them, I believe it was Wild Earth. I loved it. I loved it. So I wanted to try this out, but I'll have to see if it comes to any retailers that I can actually purchase it from because I, I wasn't lucky. I was not lucky that day. <laughs> Did NARS not just do this? <laughs> this is where I get frustrated. I don't mind purchasing the same type of palette, the same type of colors and whatnot from different brands. But when the same brand keeps doing repetitive things, it starts to get annoying. And there's a certain, you know, like Huda Beauty, maroons. I think of maroons immediately, those pinky shades. With Pat McGrath, I think of golds, you know. So but they still tweak just enough. I feel like NARS is literally putting out the same stuff over and over and over and over again. I could go in my drawer right now and pick out at least two palettes that I have bought that are like this. And then I could go and look for other ones online that I didn't purchase that are just like this. Like, I, 
no, 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 no. They kill it with the packaging. I really do like them. I like their formulas, but I'm skipping this again. I want NARS. I should have put NARS on the list <laughs> of brands I'm losing interest in because I definitely am. Now for the cream to powder bronzer, that I am interested in. These are available now. I'm going to look at the ingredients and see because I am currently looking for more cream products. Cream to powder is definitely right up my alley. It gives me Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel vibes. That's immediately what I think of and I would love to be able to replace that formula or get something close to it as long as it doesn't break me out. So I'll look at the ingredients and I'll possibly pick up likely Laguna and test it, but everything else, I'm no, 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 no. I just, I can't, it's the same. It's the exact same from the same brand, just in pretty packaging. Anywho, the Summer Solstice eyeshadow palette is $49. The Summer Solstice Cheek Duo is 45, and the Bronzing Cream is 38. In case you are interested, it is available now. From Melt Cosmetics, I actually purchased two of these. I have used one, but I used it on top of my Tatcha powder and it lifted. It lifted everything. So I'm currently trying to test them out. If you're unaware of what I'm talking about or why I'm making that reference, I had issues with cream blushes that I have used and had no issues with consistently. And then when I used that powder, I had a little bit of an issue. Well, so now I don't know if it was the melt blush or if it's the Tatcha powder. I'm, yeah, I've got so many updates. I am trying so many different things, it's not even funny. But these are the cream blush lights from Melt Cosmetics. I picked up two shades, Honey Thief and Cali Dream, which I have in the powder form. But these are $22 each. I'll tell you the texture is a little bit more emollient than other ones that I have tried, but I still, I, I need to try this with my normal routine and see if it was a touch of powder or if it was this cream blush, but they are so, so, so pretty. They really are. They're gorgeous. I'm just, I want everything cream right now. I feel like I am so done with singles. This is going to turn into an anti-haul. <laughs> I feel like I'm so done with eyeshadow singles, unless it is something that's just truly different and just exciting, I might pick up one thing, but it's not gonna be these. I forget about my singles, unless they are in a palette that I have made and they're the magnetic ones, I forget about them. These are the new Dior Straight From The Runway Mono Color Couture Eyeshadows. I don't want singles, especially the large ones like this. I, if I'm going to buy singles, it's going to be the pants that I can put in a palette. I just, I'm not interested. I forget about them. I have Chanel ones, Tom Ford ones. I have Pat McGrath ones. And I do, I forget all the time. But in case you are interested, it's a new couture case, draws inspiration from the emblematic house of Dior colors with different finishes, velvet, matte, satin, metallic, and glitter. Delivers a long lasting finish with intense color and they are $30 each. Pass, pass, pass. Brand new and available now from Hindash. He is an amazing makeup artist if you are unaware. Definitely check him out. He's super talented. This is the first product he has created and it's, oh, Butospi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it's a six pan gradient color story and you're meant to be able to use this on your eyes and the rest of your face. I like the idea of this. We've definitely seen things like this with bronzers, highlights, blushes, but I haven't seen it in an eyeshadow formula. I watched him talk about this palette and I'm kind of on the fence about it because he was talking about the formulation and some of them being a little bit more pigmented than others. Like I'm, I'm interested, I'm peaked. My interest is peaked because it is something different. But I'm not sure if I will use it as much, but I'm this one in here, the gradient of feel real, feel plus real. I'm gonna zoom in and show you. That brown to gray gradient just, oh, it's so pretty. And like I said, you can use this all over. I don't know. I I kind of want to I kind of want to test it out. It's just something different. 
even if it's gimmicky, I don't know if it's gimmicky or not. You know, I feel like I need to play with it and see, you know, the different textures and whatnot. That had me interested when you started talking about, you know, the different textures and opacities and everything, because usually with an eyeshadow, it's a bit more pigmented than what you would use for something for the face. So the different transitions in here and the different opacities and textures, I am, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Let me know if you want a video or if this is something that I'm just going to end up playing with by myself. <laughs> this is, does it say how much it is? I don't see the price of it. Oh, there it is. $70. Yeah. Let me know if you want to see it because I think I might end up grabbing it just for myself. Lastly, from Fenty Beauty, this is an addition to the bronzer line, the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. This is in the shade Thick Mint. It's meant for deep skin tones with neutral undertones. So I just wanted to let you guys know, in case you missed it, that she did add a shade to the lineup, which I really like that bronzer, so. Yeah. Anywho, beauties, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts and opinions on new releases. Let me know if you're interested in anything. And like I said, if there's things that you guys want me to try, just let me know in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.